Oh, that's close. Close. Okay. So, hi. Thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to be doing a full Get Ready With Me makeup. I'm not entirely sure what look I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to make up to go along. That's what I tend to do normally. But I'm probably going to be using the Antique Naked Heat palette in all of its glory. And I think I'm going to mix up a little bit with this Anastasia Belly Hills palette. So it's a self-made palette and they put a little bit of glitter in it. But we'll see. So I'm just going to jump right in and start off with the brows first. So I'm using the Freedom Brow Gel which is this right here. Let's see. Use my horrible nails, and we're just going to start from underneath the brow first. And map out the shape. So when you add this first line, it does actually give you quite a good bit of shape already. And then I'm going to take it above. Just kind of halfway. Pull the zoom in a bit more, actually. That would help, Gemma. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> very, very close. Um, okay, so then yeah, we're just going to start filling it in. So I like to start on the outside of the brow. And just kind of light, short strokes, fill them in. So because there's most product on our brow first, it will be a lot darker. As we get to the front of the brow, I don't take any more product in and it's going to get a lot lighter on its own. Oh yeah. So I like to go in and that line that's under there, I like to kind of like flick the pigment up and just kind of soften it. Right, so I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to be using the Eden Primer Potion from Decay, my absolute life. I'm just going to take this with a flat brush and start carving out underneath the brow. So I'll say, oh, okay, look. So just make sure that's all blended in. Right, so next I'm going to take a little base colour over my eyes. Now this is optional. I'm just going to grab one from the Tarte palette here, this one or that one, as long as it's matte, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to take this on a large blending brush and just matte out all there. The reason being is if I go in with a crease colour and any of that primer still wet, it'll stick to it and make your blending so much harder. So powder is always easier to blend over powder than a powder over a cream, if you don't already know. So a little Morphe brush. Um, little fluffy crease brushes from Real Techniques, so they all do the same job, okay? I like to always just have at least two when I'm doing any kind of look. So I'm going to jump into the heat palette and I'm going to use Sauce to first, I can show you. She's a very loved judge. I'm going to jump in Sauce, you can tell I love, love, love that colour. So we're taking this on our fluffier brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to start that in a crease. Right in here. So this is going to be our transition colour. So any other colour that we put on after this will really help to blend it in, whether it's a colour or like a dark colour or even a nude. And then the reason I like two blending brushes is I use one for my colour and then I keep one clean. I <laughs> look mental right now. And then I just take that where the colour ends and start buffing that out. Right, so I'm just going to bring that down to the outer corners as well, just to bring it all together. Right, so I'm going to jump in now to the Self Made palette. Please don't judge this because I've had it for so, so long. But the only colour I've probably not used in it is this metallic plum colour. And I don't really know why, there's a lovely little eyelash stuck on that. So I'm going to jump into that colour next. This is my lid colour. I'm going to take a flat brush. This was the same one I used my primer with. And I'm just going to load the brush up on both sides. 
and we're going to kind of press and slide this on to the eye. It's kind of deep purple colour. It kind of looks black in camera. But it's purple, I can assure you. I'm just packing that all over and taking it to just in the crease. So now that that's kind of on, I'm going to take a slightly more kind of tapered blending brush. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not even going to use my hand because my hand is dirty. Uh, and I'm going to go in to and Fuego, which is this kind of dark red, and I might even mix a little bit of ashes in with it as well to get that kind of blend, because obviously we've got this horrible harsh line now. I'm going to mix those two colours together and take that right on the part where those two colours meet. So where your lid colour and your crease colour meet, we're taking that medium tone, blend them out. See how that's just blending a bit better together now. So this would work as well if you were doing like an all black smoky eye, it would be the same kind of steps you would use. You're also just changing up the lid colour. I feel no matter what colour you use on your eye, if you can get that one kind of transition colour in the crease, anything will work. Trust me. So I'm going back to Sauced and I'm going to just kind of re-brighten that colour because we don't want to lose it. Rather than winged, I'm kind of going, I'm not going off wings because I'll always love a wing, but for just now, I'm liking powdered. So back again into those two colours, so it's ashes and, and fuego, if that is even how you pronounce it. Yeah. I'm just kind of going back and forth in the steps I've used, really blending those two colours together. And then I'm going to go back into Metallic Plum and just make sure the vibrancy is kind of the way I want it to be. Alright, so looking quite dark just now. I'm going to use my Perversion Pencil from Urban Decay, obviously. Just give it a little sharpen. So these are 24 hour glide on pencils. They're waterproof. I'll show you that nice as well. Well loved. Um, and I'm going to pop this straight in the waterline and take it a little bit on the... And then we're going to take a little pencil brush. And this is a MAC one. I have no idea what the number is on that, I think it's 219. I've had it for years. So, pencil brush, smudge a brush, anything will do. And I'm going back into the metallic plum and I'm going to start smudging that pencil out. Now with these pencils, you get like a minute or 30 seconds to smudge them if you want to. If not, then they'll set and that's your waterproof, smudge proof, life proof, child proof. I'm very aware that I'm speaking to myself and the window's opened and I think my neighbour is in the garden <laughs> and they're going to be like what? So dipping back into sauce and I'm going to just buff that out underneath. So really I want that sauce to ring right around the eye. One thing I really hate is when people spend so much time on their eye makeup and they don't put anything on the bottom. It really makes me sad. Because I've spent so much time doing this amazing eye look and it just looks unfinished. So it's not great. I'm so sorry if you do that, but I don't like it. So back into Metallic Plum and I'm just making sure that's as dark as I want it to be. And then I'm going to go back to that Morphe brush. No other kind of pigment on it. And just make sure but it's blended right the way right all this. And that's obviously that's done. I'm going to leave the liner to last. I always do that. I don't really know why. It's just something I always do. And I'm going to pop on some 
primer. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Optical Illusion and it's literally almost done. You get everything out of this bottle. There's a tiny bit up here that I'll get that I'll get out of it. This one is better applied with your hands. So again, excuse my horrific nails. My acrylics came off and I attempted to paint them. <laughs> and they just chip. I hate nail polish. Just chips. No matter what you do. Okay, so as you can see, this almost kind of blurs the skin a little bit. If you've got like any imperfections, it smooths over them um, and just really gives you like a nice flawless finish. It makes your skin feel so soft as well. So you can see it's actually kind of dulled everything down a little bit. So it's like a kind of filter for your face. I think I'm going to put some glitter on these eyes, they're a bit dark. Bit dark. I'm going to take the Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay. Um, I'm going to use a mix of Magnetic, which is this one, and Galaxy, which is this kind of deeper, it's almost like a blue shift in it. And I'm just going to take my finger and press that over the lid to make it nice and shiny. These are best applied for your fingers. Um, the oils in your fingers work better with them. Than a brush, they do do a moon dust brush with it, but I prefer. I think the underneath as well. Why not? Yeah, that's better. I think. Right, so I'm going to use a little bit of corrector for these horrific eye bags, and they're here. And this is a peach corrector from Rudigay. I feel like that's all I've said. But hey ho, I love them. Uh, I'm actually just going to use my finger to blend that out. So I'm just going to pat that in right up the sides of my nose because I get quite dark in here as well. I don't have to take it too far up because I do have that eyeshadow and that is a good, a good one for hiding the eye bags. But I do have a lot of darkness under here. This is a little Real Techniques brush. I think it's actually made for powder. No, it's just a dual fibre face brush. I like to use this. Um, that and it's probably only one of my makeup brushes. It's clean right now. And I'm just going to mix these together on that. I don't know if this is going to be dark enough. That's mm, fine. Okay. So, if you've used the Ornate Foundation before, you'll know that it has to have time to dry down. Now, this does look a lot lighter from my face right now, but it will have... I'm going to jump in now with my shape tape. That doesn't look as bad now, so it does dry down. I still look a lot darker, but I can assure you, in real life, it's the same colour we're matching. My hands look ridiculously dark though. So I'm going to use the shape tape concealer, and it's the shade of Fear Neutral. Really, really light for my skin, so I'm going to mix it in with light neutral and the naked skin. So I'm just going to take that on my little mixing palette again. I like the full coverageness you get, full coverageness, the full coverage that you get from the shape tape. I did find it a tiny bit drier though than what I'm used to. Not bad, but a little bit drier than, a, than the naked skin that I use, but it is a really hydrating concealer, so I'm not going to judge. So I'm just taking the two of them together and I'm just going to mix them and pop that underneath my eyes. Now it is really bright but I quite like a nice bright highlight under the eye. Don't know about y'all. I like it. Do a bit in the chin. A bit in the forehead. Now my tan is a lot darker than I'd normally do. I did try a new tan. The U tan and tone, and I do really like it. It's just that I, I didn't realise it's going to be issues. Maybe it'll end up here, and I'm going to blend all that in. Only thing I remember with your Beauty Blender, Beauty Beauty Blender, is it will um, pick up some pigments. It does thin a lot of product down, but because I've got such a full coverage foundation on, I'm not too bothered about the coverage. I'm really just wanting it nice and light, girl. My nails, I can't, I can't go with my nails, they're so bad. I promise you, they never normally look that bad. I'm it myself. Okay, so on the nose and I like my middle of the forehead. I don't like to highlight my forehead too much. I don't like to bring attention to the fact that it's quite big. 
so I don't put too much on. Okay, so before I go in, I don't think I'm going to cream contour today. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I feel like I'm dark enough. A cream contour may make me look a lot darker. So, um, no, I'm not going to do it. I ain't going to do it. So, we're going to go in with a highlighter. I'm going to use the Becca Opal. This is loved a lot, a lot. She's, she's nearly gone. She's nearly gone. That's fine. We can do with that. So, I'm going to take the bottom part of my beauty blender and get in there. And then just highlight here. Now, this does work amazing when it's wet. See that? See that? I like to put it on first and then I can go oh girl and blend it in so a little bit in the cupid's bowl boo and then you can go back to the first part of your the first part the top part of your beauty blender and blend out the edges no extra product just kind of blend it all together you see that then I'm going to pinch it and take it down my nose I can't see because of this camera You probably would be better take a smaller brush, but I like to just make my life harder. Even your finger would probably work. Okay. My nose looks really big today. Really big. Okay. You can take a tiny little bit as well if you want more of like a go away look and take a little bit here and a little bit on the shin. Okay, so. I'm going to set that now with the RCMA powder. I'm just going to take that on the pointer, pointier side of my beauty blender and put that under the eyes. And we're going to lightly kind of bake. I'm not going to do it for too long because it is a really white powder. And if you do have tan on, if you do leave it for too long, I've noticed that you can. You can, can I see it? Oh, I'm like a big catfish right now. Um, and a little bit here. I know I put a bit of highlighter there still, but I like a bit of powder. So I'm going to leave that for a little second and then we're going to go in and bronze the face. So I'm going to use, let's use our Anastasia Contour Palette. So this is the medium, I think. Light to medium. And I like to mix the colours. I very rarely go in with just one colour whether it's eyes or face or whatever. So I'm going to kind of mix these two first to get me the shape. And then if I want to deepen it, I'll maybe dip into her. To her. And I'm going to use um, this Real Techniques. I think it's actually a blush brush, but I prefer it for a contour. So we're going to, that's what we're going to do. So first I'm just going to dust away this. See that move, it's quite light. It's great for, your, for a kit because you can use it on everyone, but if you're quite tan, just, just be aware of how much you're using if you're baking and how much you're going to put on and leave it there for. Just make sure you dust every bit of that away because you don't want a picture being taken your own white under here. It's not a good time. Okay, these look really dark and they're purple. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to mix these two colours. And just go in sculpt sculpt me. Take a look. Okay. Mm. So at first I like to do I like to kinda of face forward and do my contour just so you know where the shape's gonna be. And then you can turn it so you can kind of buff it, just so you know, like, from the front, because the whole point of it is to sculpt your face. So, yeah, I'm going to look nice and sculpted from the side, but you want that front um, kind of shadow going on. Get that five head in. So, like I said, I don't like to highlight my forehead too much, but I will contour. Right round. If you have the opposite from me and you have a smaller forehead, and for whichever reason in life you want to make it look a bit bigger, then you would highlight more and um, contour maybe just on the sides. So now I'm going to go into that deeper colour 
the darkest colour in the palette. I'm going to actually look in the mirror because this looks a lot lighter than it actually is in the mirror. Plenty. Plenty. I haven't had a tan on in so long. I feel really strange. And then I just take whatever's left in the brush and go under that kind of jawline. I don't like to cream contour or anything too much in the jaw. I don't want to have like a big chiselled jaw. I don't imagine why you would, but if you do, hey ho, I won't judge. Okay, so I'm going to use... I'm going to go with some mascara now. The Troublemaker. And then I'm going to pop some lashes on. And some lips. And that's me. So we're using the Troublemaker mascara here, which is the new one just launched from Urban Decay. Will I do liner? Will I do liner? I think I might. Scratch it, we're doing liner. Okay, I'm just going to jump into the Alamasca. Jump in. Just going to jump in. I'm going to use the Alamasca gel liner. If you haven't used it before, it is Life. It's really good. It's a gel, it's a really creamy gel, so you can smoke it out if you want to. But um, I'm just going to line my lids. I'm not going to go for a wing. Just so when I put my lashes on, it blends. I'm just taking this on a little precision liner brush. I can't even see the point, but here we go. My big orange hand. She's not focusing right. Nice, nice pointed brush. And line the lid. Really like so much concentration there. I'm just going to line them. I might do my wee inner, my little inner V's, inner wings in here. Yeah, that's it. Inner wings are my jam. They are my thing. Once you do one, if you've never had one before, It just elongates the eye still, even if you're wanting that rounded eye, it will just elongate. Okie doke, so lashes are, oh, stuck. <laughs> lashes are on, these look incredibly crazy on this camera, but they're not really. So you can probably see a bit better that that's more, it is more purple um, than black. So I'm just going to go in and do my lips now. All I did was put my mascara and my lashes on. I couldn't actually find my lashes. These are um, ones that you can reuse, which is always great. So I'm just going to use, um, this is the Urban Decay Nighthawk Lip Liner, which is quite a dark brown. Hardly in that. <laughs> no. So I just outline it on first, and then we go and colour in the corners, and um, thicken the lip liner a little bit. So I'll just do this in here. What I don't like about my lips is this one goes down a little bit, it dips here because of this horrible piercing that I got when I was younger. So I have to overdraw that slightly. One is Kimberly. Right, 
kind of looks crazy right now. We're all going to blend it. So we're just going to take a little lip brush, like old school urban one, from many years ago, and just blend those two edges together. finished look hope you enjoyed hope you learned like i said hope you learned something um and enjoyed it and hopefully i can get more videos up